Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. Let's continue exploring Filter Forge Editor. The Filter Forge Editor can work in two modes. One by modifying existing image by applying um, or effect to the image, modifying its uh, values or applying frames or any other. Overall, it will say modifying the existing image or it can create its own image from the scratch, which we can use it for the any other options that you desire. So let's look first how we can modify image that exists. To do this, we're going inside external group. And you notice right here, we have some input nodes. The one which I'm going to select, it's an image. Image node would allow us to control and select the image as an input node. You notice this is image does not expect any values, but we do have it one output value. Next, let's perform something very, very simple to this. So I'm going to adjustments and I will go inside the desaturate node. Just click and drag. You will notice in our desaturated node, the source is highlighted as a red. And the reason why, same like this, this is expected value. So it's value that they require for the filter to work. We'll go from image, drag and connect to the source. Now source turn to the black so its value is correct. And next we take from desaturated and move inside the source as an output result. Okay, next things what we want to do, it is apply some options that we can control inside um, our values. So let's go ahead and maybe modify set average. You also notice right here we have the gray out method. This is options that we can create additional control and allow the user to control that method. You will notice this is method also located on the left side and I switch or predefined. If I change this value in a filter editor, user won't be able to change and modify this value uh, by themselves without filter editor. However, we can create additional control to allow the user modify this value. To do this, we'll go inside the control group and you can notice we have a different type of the controls, angles, checkbox, color, sliders and values in slider it's kind of prefixed one so let's go ahead take this and place it right here we also can go ahead and connect so you'll notice it says a method and value automatically set by the three because our value or select box before okay, let me just connect it if you notice we have it only three values that can be selected so let's go select this way Okay, and right here, we can modify method for this slider, the name. We can um, set maximum minimum values, but currently value says three. So let's modify it to three here as well. And if you have a different value, for example, 20, you can use it uh, remapping. But you notice right here, we have a note that warning us about this. So let's go ahead, set three. Okay, next, what I want to do, I want to save this filter so we can open and see how it will actually work with our image. For this, I'm just going to click on Save Filter. Okay, and we'll go name this as um, Tutorial 1. And let's click Save. Okay, now you notice Filter Forge Editor Closet and we have a filter available in My Filter Connection. From your uh, my filter collection, you can actually submit this filter that you created to share with other users. But we'll look on that a little bit more in the future. What is a requirement for this and how to do for now? We'll just create filter for our own use in our own collection. Next, what I want to do, I want actually a loaded image that I want going to use or modify. And you notice because we have a white background. The same was applied in our filter editor. So let's go ahead and preload some image and do this. We go file and I'm going to select open image. OK, 
Okay, so I'm going to select the file. And you notice right here, um, for example, this photo of the neon trees I took it. And it's already, even it was color, but it's applied effect of desaturation. And you notice because right here it's filtered already in uh, um, motion. We can switch, of course, the modes and you can see how they were applied to this. But in a way, it's how our filter will start working now. So, okay, let's click and open a filter, edit the filter that we just have. Now, because we have our original image right here in the color, you can see it's what accepted and it's kind of input for us. We're going inside the saturated, where we're desaturating the color on our image and it's just output. So this is one of the simplest nodes that we can create by taking image, modifying, creating some small control that user can uh, work with uh, modifications and have our output result. So in this case, we just created our own first um, simple filter. Okay, thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. And please visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com.